Hey guys, in the previous part we are talking about Kiwi properties. In this video we will be talking about how to use Kiwi properties to reference widgets and properties set in other widgets. Hey guys, my name is Kamel and I'm a Python programmer and today I would like to talk about my book Kiwi Programming with Python and Kiwi. Now, in this book, we're creating a project from scratch. <laughs> oh, no, no. Now, here you can see some samples from the book. Now, if you are interested in purchasing this book, you will find the links to it down in the description below. So, thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you will have at least as much fun reading my book as I had writing it. So, see you around. We're going to be working on our test files again. So, here's a slightly modified Kiwi file. We have a test layout button, label a button. Now. Actually, the only differences are that I added the ID for the second button and changed its text to just the height of the first button. Now, and here's the modified Python file. So here we have the set text method, which will be called whenever the first button is pressed. And here, inside this method, the widgets are referenced from within Python by means of the IDs property. So referencing the three widgets by their IDs, IDs label, IDs button one, IDs button two, and we change some of the properties in code. So how does it work? Let's run the code and press the first button. Now watch the label and the two buttons. When we press the first button, the text on the label changes to change. The text on the first button changes too, a plus is appended at the end. And here, on button 2, the font size is increased by 5. Let's click on this first button a couple times. And now we can watch what is happening. So here, a plus is attached. Each time we press this button, here the font size is increased. Now, instead of using the IDs property, we could have used our own properties. Let's now rewrite the two files to use Kiwi properties. Let's start with the Kiwi file. Good. Let's define three properties over here that will reference the three widgets that we referenced by IDs before. You can name them whatever you like. I will name them label, button 1, button 2. You use a widget's ID to set the property. For example, to associate the first property with a label, use the label's ID, like that. Here's our property, label, and we associate it with this label by ID. And here are the other two properties that I want to use. Button 1, button 2. And I also reference them by IDs. So this property references this button over here because it uses its ID. And the same thing is true about the second button. And now the Python code. Let's save it. So we have these three properties here, label, button 1, button 2. Now here, the first thing we have to do is import the properties that we want to use. In our case, we want to use the object property class. So 
from Kitty Properties Import Object Property. Now we define the properties we need directly in the class. In our case, the properties are supposed to reference widgets, which are objects, generally speaking. If you want to reference a widget, you should use an object property. The default value of an object property is none, and this will do. So, let's define these properties directly in the class, just like class attributes. And now, you can use the properties instead of the ID's property. They must be used on an instance, so we need to add self. So here we can use our first property, self, label, text. Here we can use our second property, self button one text. And here we can use our second button, self button two font size. If you now run the app, it should work like before. Yeah, that's right. Now, in case of the object property class, it's enough to define the property in the Kiwi file and the property will be understood as an object property. This means that even if you don't declare the properties explicitly in the Python file, they will be still available. So let's have a look, let's comment this out. And run the code. So it still works because we define these properties here and they are understood as object properties. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.